L'artista è il Michel Stembri, qui agli Eroici Furori presenta le opere risultanti della sua ultima ricerca, una ricerca che riguarda la pelle degli individui, una ricerca dove la pelle, i segni, le cicatrici diventano itinerari della memoria. Le persone che Michel ha fotografato presentano piercing, tatuaggi o risultati di segni di operazioni chirurgiche, per cui segni volontari o segni involontari, quindi risultati di cicatrici. Le stampe diventano materia fotografica su quali l'artista interviene modificando o cucendo. Le opere risultanti sono delle vere e proprie sculture, non sono semplici fotografie e l'artista Michael Steinbridge chiama fotocorpi. I named this series In Between the Edges of Stitched Souls. I used the expression in between the edges because it describes a nonsense location, a, a non-existent place. Like when you were trying to find a person's soul, you can't exactly say if it resides inside or outside the body. And the description of being stitched, I am using metaphorically as well as literally. A stitched soul on a metaphorical level for me is a soul that is healing or has been repaired or has been subjected to a needle's perforation. And on a literal level, my prints are actually stitched by hand with needle and thread. My medium is photography, but most people don't recognize them as photographs because of their three-dimensionality and surface quality. Actually, each piece is made from fine art photographic paper rolled into the shape I want. We are not very familiar with the materiality of the photographic paper because usually it is under glass, but it is 100% cotton and I like the pliability. It also has many characteristics that coincide with skin, like being pierceable or stitchable. I call my pieces photo bodies. I use the word body because it coincides with the fact that I'm photographing people, but I'm allocating the term body to the print as well because it also has a corporal and three-dimensional presence. The prints that surround each model are what I call membranes and they're a surface I create uh, specific and uh, related to each person's story. I ask people to pose for me who have signs on their body because they are like external signposts that point to an interior. Here I carved into the paper with a knife the same way that the model carved the scarification into her skin with a scalpel. So for example, this person who let me photograph her, she had a uh, mastectomy and you don't always get to save the nipple when you recreate your breast, when you um, have a reconstruction. And uh, this piece is also identified by this little thought that follows her around because you are hardly ever free from, uh, from that worry. I'm drawing a parallel between the photographic process and a person's relation to their body. 
This work is about the vocabulary of embodiment and the elusive nature of thresholds. Is the subject of the photograph what is in the print, or is the subject the so-called body of the print, or are they inseparable? I would say there could be a parallel pursuit for a person's identity by asking at what boundary point the soul and physical manifestation of a body meet.